Hey everyone, it's Scott from CertMedia.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix this error. The error SSL version or Cypher mismatch that you probably got when you tried to install Cloudflare. Do not worry, it's a very simple error, easy fix, and it's nothing to be worried about. Just do not go switching your name servers back or you're going to cause yourself more headache down the line. So you got this error because that there was an issue with the SSL being issued to your domain. Uh, you probably already had an SSL in your site before installing Cloudflare. If you didn't, we're going to cover that. Um, for those of you who didn't, you're probably on GoDaddy, and for that I'm going to apologize on their behalf. Um, when you first set up Cloudflare and your website's trying to communicate typically over HTTPS, you get an error because Cloudflare hasn't issued an Edge certificate. So as you can see right now, mine says no certificates. Yours will probably say something along the lines of pending. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable it for my domain again. And the reason that this is important is because your server's trying to talk to Cloudflare, but Cloudflare needs to have an SSL on their side to verify the communication, to talk to each, to talk to your server and your visitors over an encrypted connection. Because remember that while your server is, does have the SSL certificate, the SSL certificate that's presented to your site visitor is coming from Cloudflare. So you have your domain as HTTPS dailydrivertips.com, but because there's no SSL issued on Cloudflare side yet, you get the error. So if yours is staying pending, and it should only take a couple of minutes to clear. If you've had this for like 20 minutes or so after you've installed Cloudflare, you're gonna wanna pause Cloudflare. And you could do this two ways. Um, if you if you've been having this issue for an hour, then you're gonna to wanna to do the second method. But the easiest way is to go ahead and click pause Cloudflare on site. This will put the site in a paused mode, just like this, and it will stop traffic from being sent to Cloudflare. You will have to manually resume this. So if you're installing Cloudflare at eight o'clock at night and, you issued the, and you're issuing the SSL certificate, go ahead and pause it overnight. Then in the morning, log back in, go back to your SSL tab, click under Edge Certificates, and then see if it says Status Active. If it says Active, resume Cloudflare on the site. Your alternative method is to go to your DNS tab and where each of the domains say Proxied, you're gonna have to unproxy them and hit Save for each record. Uh, personally, I wouldn't bother doing that method. It's just gonna take way longer. So just go ahead and pause it and you will be in business. Now, for those of you who came to Cloudflare and you have no SSL certificates, um, your steps are a little bit different. You probably got the error because Cloudflare was set to full by default. If you're on a site or rather on a server that doesn't have any SSL certificate at all, this is when you, this is where you're on GoDaddy and they don't want to give you a free SSL certificate. You're going to have to make sure that your site is set to flexible mode. Flexible says, okay, the, the server that I'm talking to for your website does not have an SSL certificate, but I want to deliver to my clients the encrypted connection. So it will send the SSL to your clients and it'll talk to your website over an unencrypted connection. This is not an ideal situation from a security point of view, but if you're on GoDaddy and they're wanting you to pay $120 a year for your SSL certificate, I wouldn't do that. Um, just go ahead and set it to flexible and that should resolve your issue. Um, finally, if you are using the SSL certificates, you do need to be wary of one important detail. Number one, do not redirect your traffic to the SSL version until you can verify that your website is accessible over HTTPS. So that's when the Cloudflare SSL was issued and you checked under your Edge certificates that it says active. Then what you're gonna probably wanna do is go ahead and install really simple SSL. It's a free plugin, anybody can use it. I have a video on the topic that I'll put up here in the eye. Just watch that video and it'll show you how to easily set it up for your domain. But remember, you can only do that after the Edge certificate is issued where you're gonna lock yourself out and all of your visitors out of your website. I thought this would just be a handy trick because it was something that I was having to deal with earlier today. And it's a common issue that I see clients worry about when they're installing Cloudflare. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below and I'll try to help you out. Otherwise, make sure to like subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.